Hi guys, Dr. Brenda Sloven here from YourMigraineDoctor.com. And I get asked a lot about caffeine and headaches. Does it help? Does it hurt? Should I? Shouldn't I? So I thought I'd make a quick video today on um, more about a, a caffeine headache because really anybody who drinks any sort of caffeine on a regular basis has has had a caffeine headache at some point. So is what you're experiencing a chronic daily headache or is it a caffeine headache? Is it a headache from something else? Caffeine headaches are kind of, they're funny. They can be a, a good masquerader. You can think that you are having some sort of chronic daily massive migraine and really it's a withdrawal headache coming off of caffeine. So a caffeine headache, it usually, you'll wake up in the morning with it, the headache starts like behind your eyes and then works its way up to uh, the front of your forehead. It can trigger a migraine, absolutely, no doubt, especially if you have a sensitivity to caffeine, but for most people, it's just a pretty annoying headache that goes away um, after some time. There are a few causes of a caffeine headache. The top five causes are, of course, caffeine withdrawal. Caffeine withdrawal, that is the number one way um, to get a caffeine-related headache. And that's if you're taking in caffeine in your sodas, in your medications, absolutely, your medications, Excedrin works for some people because it has caffeine. But if you're getting uh, caffeine in your, in your drinks, in your food, um, you're taking medication um, with caffeine, in it, too much caffeine, and then um, not having any during the course of the evening can make for a really rotten morning the next morning. So you almost get uh, you get a withdrawal headache because caffeine in of itself is a drug. It can make a rap rapid heart rate. It can make you feel lightheaded, dizzy. It can make you feel awful. And certainly it can give you a pretty massive headache. Um, so that is absolutely the number one, uh, the number one way to get a caffeine related headache. Also varied um, consumption levels of caffeine. So if uh, you take in 50 milligrams of caffeine for something and then you know, the next day you take in a hundred and then it's down to 75 that, I mean, even if it's just small steps like that, it can lead to an annoying mild headache, but still a caffeine related headache. So, um, another way to, uh, suffer a caffeine headache would be through a caffeine overdose. Um, not as common, but if you take in a tremendous amount of caffeine in a very short amount of time, that can absolutely cause a caffeine overdose for you and um, a major, major headache later as a result. And then of course, numbers four and five are a caffeine sensitivity and a caffeine allergy, both of which not so common, um, but certainly can can be present and um, when you are taking in caffeine from so many different uh, other sources also I mean it's just sometimes you just don't know you think it could be cheese it could be caffeine you never know um, so how do you remedy your aching head well the best way to remedy caffeine is basically stop taking the caffeine and go to sleep and, you know, wait 24 hours and let the pain disappear. Or you can increase your caffeine and take more and you give in to the caffeine guts and you just take more of it. I don't really recommend um, that, however, especially for the patients I treat with chronic migraine, chronic, uh, chronic sinusitis, chronic uh, headaches, it, it's, it's the short term effect, but it won't do a single thing for you in the long run. It'll actually make it harder for you to detox from that later. Um, but drinking uh, lots of water, you know, um, taking a nap, uh, taking a pain reliever, um, not Excedrin because it has caffeine in it, um, all those things can certainly have you come down. So it, for the most part, there's really two ways to fix a caffeine-related headache. Number one, um, drink more caffeine. And that'll, that'll make you feel good. Um, and then number two is, of course, to detox from it completely, which means on a day-to-day -day basis, you should be drinking very little to no caffeine, in which case you won't have any of these side effects. 
I hope you found some information in this video helpful. Um, I would love to you uh, to connect with me on Facebook or on Twitter or certainly uh, LinkedIn or Pinterest. You can find me at Dr. Sloven or uh, at Dr. Sloven on Twitter or yourmigraindoctor.com. You can go to the blog. There is a, uh, a great, uh, there is, is a great uh, free report on the blog on uh, how to help yourself with chronic migraine. And of course, that is called What If It Never Goes Away? So I recommend if you haven't already read it to please read it. It's pretty interesting. And if you found this helpful, please tag a friend and let them know that maybe what they're dealing with in terms of headaches is not just a straight up headache. Maybe it's because they're drinking too many Starbucks. So it's possible. It's happened. Take care. Good luck. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.